Taking a live look at Washington, D.C. right now, we are just hours away from the confirmation hearings for Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. If she is confirmed, she would be the first black woman to sit on the Supreme Court. She is expected to get the votes, but will taste, face rather tough questions before the Senate Judiciary Committee today. Kevin Johnson is the dean of UC Davis Law School. He joins us now to talk about what is expected on Capitol Hill today. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, can you talk about Judge Jackson's background? She is a former public defender and she went to Harvard University. How does her legal experience support her nomination? I think she has a wealth of legal experience and she also has more than nine years serving as a federal judge, uh, which is more than Justices Kagan, Justice Kavanaugh and Justice Barrett had before they were confirmed. She also has experience as a federal public defender uh, and is a graduate of Harvard Law School where she served on the Harvard Law Review, uh, which is also um, where, where um, President Barack Obama served before, before her time. Uh, she, she served on a sentencing commission, National Sentencing Commission that looks at federal sentencing guidelines for the, for the entire United States. Uh, and she has had a very distinguished career and Dean, let's talk about the types of questions that she'll face over the next two days. Of course, on the Democratic side, they'll probably be very supportive. But on the Republican side, they do take issue with her being a federal public defender. Can we talk about that and how she might answer those questions? I, I think the, the, the basic argument from Republicans is, is likely to be uh, that, that Judge Jackson is, uh, quote, soft on crime uh, and they will push uh, her to assert her position on criminal law matters. Uh, yesterday, uh, Senator Hawley mentioned that she had sentenced child um, um, porn defendants to less than the sentencing guidelines. And he suggested that was troubling to him. Uh, at the same time, he, he didn't mention that he had voted to confirm several judges uh, nominated by President Trump who had similar records. Many federal judges think the sentencing guidelines are a bit too harsh for first time offenders. Uh, and, and Judge Jackson, who has a long record on the issue, dating as far back as her time at Harvard Law School, where she, she wrote a note for the Harvard Law Review about sentencing of criminal um, child porn defendants, um, you know, it, it is, is likely to be questioned on that particular subject. Um, Senator Blackburn mentioned a, a, a desire to question um, Judge Jackson on that matter, as well as whether she's uh, a, a closet believer in critical race theory, uh, which is a um, buzz line that, that she mentioned several times in her opening statement. Dean Johnson, let's talk about Judge Jackson's judicial philosophy. She clerked for Justice Breyer. Do you think she will be like him on the bench? Now that, that's a very good question. Uh, I think that Judge Jackson has shown herself to be devoted to the law uh, and is very much a pragmatist, pragmatist a, a practical thing, a practical judge, a practical jurist. I think she'll be very much like a Judge Breyer was in this regard, and also much like judge, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who is a pragmatist, adherent to the law, uh, and, and devoted uh, to equal justice for all. And Dean Johnson, last question. Can we talk about um, just the historic moment happening here? We saw her parents in court. She also mentioned her husband who started to tear up and her daughter who you could tell was reacting to her father with pride, but also mm -hmm. for her mother. Well, as Senator Booker mentioned in some of his comments, this is a historic first. First black woman nominated to the United States Supreme Court. Uh, it's taken a long time to get where we are today. Uh, and I think the personal story of Judge Jackson is quite compelling. Uh, a graduate of public schools in, in, in Miami, Florida, uh, a very multiracial part of the United States, uh, who uh, has worked hard, devoted herself to her career and her family, uh, and also is dedicated uh, uh, to, her, to her parents who helped get her where she is today. Uh, she comes from humble beginnings, uh, the, the, the child of school, school teachers, uh, and she worked very hard to get where she is today. So I think it's a compelling personal story uh, that's very hard to somehow undermine or question. 
Uh, so that's why I, I think that the senators who want to question her, her bona fides are going to focus on, on crime and critical race theory. All right, Dean Johnson, thank you so much. So insightful hearing from mm -hmm. you and can't wait to see how they go today. And hopefully you'll join us again as these continue. I'd love to. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.